Hello everybody, it is Jawa James. I'm here again with another episode of James Reed's uh, Star Wars books. Uh, this time I have Darth Plagueis by James Lucino. Um, Darth Plagueis is a novel about, guess who? Darth Plagueis, the uh, master of uh, Ma Darth Sidious here, um, that we know from the prequels. And so this kind of tells the story of um, what leads into Darth Sidious, Darth Plagueis' plans to take over the Republic, and then of course uh, how Sidious overthrows his master. But uh, here, let's let's take a section here um, and see what happens. That um, we have Plagueis running across somebody from his own past. Ahead, Damask heard the characteristic hiss and hum of a lightsaber, and saw the weapon's blade glowing in the mist. Emerging from behind a thick, bold tree, the wielder had the lightsaber in his right hand, angled toward the spongy ground, a crimson blade in a crimson wood. Instantly, he called his own lightsaber to his left hand, igniting the blade as the figure in the mist revealed itself fully, a tall, thin, pink-skinned craniopod with large, lidless eyes, a bith. Tenebris? He faltered momentarily. No, that wasn't possible. But who, then? Tenebris's offspring, perhaps? Some spawn grown from his genetic material in a laboratory, since the species reproduced only in accordance with the dictates of a computer mating service? Was that why Tenebris had declined to discuss midichlorians or ways of extending life, because he had already found a way to create a Force-sensitive successor? I knew I could draw you out, Darth Plagueis, the Bith said. Plagueis dropped all pretense and faced him squarely. You're well trained. I sense the Force in you, but not the dark side. I have Darth Tenebris to thank for it. He made you in his image. You're a product of Bith science. The Bith laughed harshly. Ha! Huh. You're an old fool. He found and trained me. Plagueis recalled the warning Tenebris had nearly given voice to before he died. He took you as an apprentice? I am Darth Venomous. Darth? Plagueis said with disgust. We'll see about that. Your death will legitimize the title, Plagueis. Plagueis cocked his head to the side. Your master left orders for you to kill me? The Bith nodded. Even now he awaits my return. Awaits, Plagueis said. As astonishing as it was to learn that Tenebris had trained a second apprentice, he had a surprise in store for Venomous. Inhaling, he said, Tenebris is dead. Confusion showed in Venomous' eyes. You wish it were so. Plagueis held his lightsaber off to one side, parallel to the ground. What's more, he died by my hand. Impossible. Plagueis laughed with purpose. How powerful can you be if you fail to sense the death of your master? Even now, your thoughts fly in all directions. Venomous raised his lightsaber over one shoulder. In killing you, I will avenge his death and become the Sith Lord he knew you could never be. The Sith he wanted me to be, Plagueis corrected. But enough of this. You've come a long way to challenge me. Now make a worthy effort. Venomous charged. To Plagueis, lightsaber duels were tedious affairs, full of wasted emotion and needless acrobatics. Tenebris, however, who had pronounced Plagueis a master of the art, had always enjoyed a good fight and had clearly bequeathed that enthusiasm to his other trainee. For no sooner had the blades of their weapons clashed than Venomous began to bring the fight to him in unexpected ways, twirling his surprisingly limber body, tossing the lightsaber from hand to hand, mixing forms. At one point he leapt onto an overhanging grill branch and, when Plagueis severed it with a force blow, hung suspended in the air, no mean feat in itself, and continued the fight as if from high ground. Worse for Plagueis, Tenebris had made Venomous an expert in Plagueis' style, and so the Bith could not only anticipate but counter Plagueis' every move. In short order, Venomous penetrated his defenses, searing the side of Plagueis' neck. You want to know what happens next? Well, you're going to have to go get a copy of Darth Plagueis. Check it out yourself. Uh, it's by James Luceno, who has written a whole bunch of different Star Wars books. Um, notice on the back cover who appears in it, Darth Maul. Uh, as you know, leading into the release of Maul Lockdown, that, that uh, Darth Plagueis is kind of a, a little bit of a prequel to, kind of sets up some of the story that we see in Maul Lockdown. So go check it out, uh, Darth Plagueis, 
and we'll see you in the next episode. All right, may the force be with you.